Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix your keyboard not working on your iPhone, whether it's not working, showing up when you try to click on something to type, or it's frozen, whatever the case may be. You want to follow these steps to fix any of those problems on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is that make sure that you don't have any external devices connected that potentially could be thinking that it's a keyboard. So what I like to do is go into my settings and then go to Bluetooth and check any Bluetooth connection that you have or simply turn off Bluetooth and then go back into whatever app you're on and then go ahead and try to type and see if the keyboard comes up and it's working for you. Now the next thing you want to do is if there's a specific app the keyboard isn't working you're going to go ahead and slide up and close out that app and then just relaunch it again just like that and it may help you fix that issue whether it's uh, Safari your text messenger or any third party app just swipe up and then just simply close out the app and then reopen the app itself now after you have done those two things the next thing you want to do is a forced restart on your iPhone so to do a forced restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another and finally hold this side button until the screen goes completely black once it's gone black and you see the Apple logo up here again you'll let go of that button so I'm going to do volume up volume down and then hold that side button again make sure you press volume up followed by volume down really fast and then hold that side button just like I am you do not need to slide to power off that will be a normal shutdown we're waiting it to force itself to shut down and once you see the Apple logo you let go of that button and all that is doing is just shutting down the software completely and reloading the code so if it's a software related issue impacting the keyboard functionality it will fix that for you and this method is safe it will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe and once you're back on go ahead and enter your passcode and get back into your phone and go ahead and open up whatever app you're looking to type in and hopefully your keyboard is working for you now let's say if it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone right go ahead and open up setting and this time in the setting here we're going to go to general and after general we want to go ahead all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone click on that reset and then click on the first reset option and then we're going to reset our keyboard dictionary so any keyboards that were added to the dictionary will get erased but this is something you need to do in order to reset your keyboard and once you do that it's going to ask for your passcode and now this method will not delete any of your personal data but it will delete any custom words that you have typed into the keyboard you just have to re-add them again but all of your photos videos apps will still be safe without being deleted if you do this and it takes about maybe a couple seconds to do that and hopefully after you do that your keyboard is working now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do in your settings here is go to general again and this time we're going to hop over to the keyboard section here and click on keyboards here and check out how many keyboards you have by default whatever the region is usually your region keyboard and then the emoji keyboard now you can add another keyboard if you like right let's go ahead and add one and then we're going to delete that one so if you have multiple keyboards go ahead and delete it and then re-add them again to make sure that there isn't an issue with the keyboard themselves right just like that you can add and delete keyboards that are available for you and that will help troubleshoot it as well and if you're finding that issues with the keyboard and such go to basic ones which is one keyboard and the emoji one if you have custom ones usually want to delete them and then also add them back again now the next troubleshooting step you want to do if you're still having issues with the keyboard is going to be if it's an app related issue where maybe the keyboard is working on other apps but it doesn't work on a specific app that you like in that case you want to go ahead and delete the app and reinstall the app itself so let's say maybe you're having issues with Instagram keyboard not working go ahead and remove app delete app and then you're going to want to re-download the app by going into the app store right and just simply reinstall it again remember when you delete app it doesn't delete your account it simply just deletes the app and then you can of course go ahead and install it again by entering your Apple ID password and it will reinstall the app and then you can sign back into the app and hopefully that fixes for you now if you're still having the issue with it the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone this time we're gonna to go to general software update and check if there's an update available if there is an update available go ahead and update your iPhone sometimes there's bug fixes that happen and there's issues from a previous update might have caused the issue and Apple generally will fix them with every software update so it's 
important that you update your phone to the latest iOS version. Now, when you do a software update, it does take somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes. Make sure you are connected to a good, strong internet or Wi-Fi through your cellular data, and your phone is at least 50% or more or charged up to be able to fully do the update. Now, after you have updated and you're still having the issue, now it's time to go into your setting of your iPhone and then hop over to accessibility. And under accessibility, you want to go ahead and take a look at a couple options here under keyboard, right? You want to see that of all of these options are similar to what I have here. This is going to help you kind of make sure that the keyboard setting didn't get messed up here. So take a good look at that and compare it to your keyboard. And then the other thing you want to check out is in your touch, right? Go ahead and click on touch here. Under touch here, make sure for reachability, you might want to turn that off. Sometimes the reachability allows the phone, whenever you activate the keyboard, to slide down. It could kind of remove the keyboard. In that case, you want to turn that off and see if that makes a difference. And if it doesn't, just turn it back on. That's perfectly fine, but play around with that. And the other thing you also want to check out is your zoom option. So if you have zoom turned on, I recommend turning off zoom in any way. Sometimes zoom can interfere with the way the keyboard displays up. So turn off zoom as well. Finally, after doing those things and if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do in your setting is go to general, go all the way down here, transfer reset iPhone, click on reset. Now you need to reset all settings. Now, when you do reset all settings, right, what's going to happen is it's going to reset things like, again, network related settings. So if you had Wi Fi is saved or Bluetooth connected devices, you have to reconnect again. Any keyboard dictionary again will get reset. Any home screen custom layout will get reset. And any location and uh, privacy setting will get reset. Now, when you do reset all settings, the settings themselves get erased, but not your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, documents, book, music, everything will still be there. It's just the settings will get reset. And it's something sometimes you'll have to do in order to fix any setting related issue that may be impacting your keyboard functionality. So that's it for all the troubleshooting steps you can do in order to fix your iPhone's keyboard. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys the next time.